Hi, this is Bridget with Positively Zebra, the daily stripe. I own zebra glitter and nails, and today we're going to be doing dip application, adding shapes on top. The shapes are not in the dip, we're just adding extra shapes and they're little butterflies. So first thing we're gonna do is have everything ready. So wash your hands, do your nail prep. I always show it so we don't forget it. Push cuticles back, make sure those are cleaned up. If you need to go in, which I don't know where I hit it, with your orange stick, make sure anything that's up in there is cleared out. Okay, and then uh, like I've told you before, I always apply bond, whether it's a tip or natural nail. Okay, and I don't, um, we do have prep also. Some people swear by prep. Uh, the prep works, prep and bond work great together. I usually just do the bond. So it's just kind of a personal preference and what works on your nails. So anyways, let's get started. So the bond is dry. We're gonna take our Zebra Professional Base and we're gonna build the apex first. So don't go crazy thick. Don't go all the way up, go about three quarters of the way up. That's how I do it. And then um, put that on, tap it off still a little way you can go ahead and add a little more there to absorb perfect and um, we'll clean up the finger when we're done this one leaves a lot of shimmer on the uh, hand at least not a lot on me but um anyways so and then we're gonna go in and do our next full layer of dip this time oops sorry i'm spilling my activator over here okay um, so this time we're going to cover the whole nail. Okay, and don't go crazy. Make sure you wipe off your brush, that way you don't get any color contamination. Depending on your liquids, it can also just contaminate in general, but ours don't really do anything but the color contamination. Okay, and again, absorbing any extra powder that's there. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on, so it's hard to see. Okay, and then brush that off again. Clean around the cuticles this time because we did the whole nail, so make sure you're cleaning around the cuticles, get anything off that you might have gotten up on there. Okay, and then we have a sample jar, so I'm dumping back and forth a lot, um, depending on your jar size and how well you are coordinating that um, pour over. You might not have to do it like I am. Okay, and again, let that brush fan up. Don't flood, don't go crazy, but just make sure you're covering everything that you want the dip on. Okay, you don't want it up here on your cuticles, so keep it away from that. See, you have teal on your brush, so wipe your brush off. Otherwise, you're gonna have teal. If you do light pink the next time, it's not gonna be light pink because you're gonna have the teal in it. Okay, and there we go. A little bit more. Usually that is enough dips for zebra powders, um, depending, unless you have like a jelly and you're trying to make it not a jelly. Um, usually the apex and two dips seem to work pretty perfect. And we're gonna save that uh, cupcake liner in case we use this color again while we're shooting videos. Clean up around your cuticles. Okay, we'll clean that up later. Okay, that looks good. If you need to um, add more dip at this point, you can. Don't really do much filing at this point. I'm just doing the tip because I'd forgotten to do that. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and activate now. So we're gonna do quick swipes of activate. And then we're going back in with more purposeful. Not too much, don't flood it. Flooding or not applying your your um, activator right is what causes your ripples and ridges and the white dots, so be careful of that. Okay, we're going to let that sit for two minutes. This is the hard part because if you're impatient like me, you don't want to wait the two minutes, but the two minutes have to ha that has to have a chemical reaction. There's a reaction between the base, the powder, and the activate. And if that doesn't happen, that's where you're not going to get shiny top coats. You're going to get all sorts of problems. You're going to get chipping, peeling. Uh, lifting, all that happens. So let that go the two minutes, which for the video, um, well, I can't really speed it up because it can harden your brush too. But um, so we got about another minute. So while we're doing that, we're going to get our top coat ready and we're going to get um, 
we'll encapsulate again. So you would file here. We're going to apply our shapes and then we're going to encapsulate and clear and then top coat. Okay, so we can have the clear ready. This is our clear as crystals, um, zebra's top coat, or zebra's clear, main clear that we sell. We sell bulk, uh, different ones, but in the main line, it's just the clear as crystals. Unless you go into the bulk section, you can buy the different ones. Okay, um, there we go. Let that dry just a little bit. Okay, so you don't want to try moisture. And then what we're gonna do is apply our shapes now. So if you wanna keep a cupcake liner down, where did I have my other one? Oh, here it is. We're gonna use this uh, silicone one here just to catch if I drop any. Um, okay, and we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put down just a little bit of base. I can always put more. And then I'm gonna wet the tip of this and I'm using this rubber lifter. And then I'm gonna pick up some of the shapes that I want. And you just put them where you want them, guys. If you need to add more uh, base. If you don't care which way your butterflies are laying, then you can just kind of leave them. Uh, if you want them, you know, you can move them if you need to, but that base helps, obviously. They're going to slide right off if you don't have the base on there. I'm going to put just um, a little more base over here and do just a little more there. Don't, I mean, you can lick it, but to me that's gross, so I would just dip in the water, and then put your little butterflies wherever you want them. I'm gonna take that one off, I don't like him on there. If they have base on them, be careful putting them back because obviously they're gonna stick to everything and that one does have base on it. Okay, and then once it's how you like it, so if you wanna pick up some, there are little glitter pieces and stuff in there. So, you know, if you wanna get them and add little glitter pieces, however you want it until it's how you like it. Got a little tiny bit on the end there that I don't like, so since we activate it, I am gonna file that. Lay these down, so you wanna press them down so they lay flat. That's where our problem is with chunkies. We don't do that step. So that will help you have a much better Manny. And my son, Sam, that worked for me for a couple years, he actually just got a new job. He was like the number one I've ever seen in in, uh, in swatches or um, final coats like this. Just terrific. But anyways, okay, so we're doing that. Now we're gonna encapsulate and clear. So to encapsulate and clear, <laughs> I spilled my stuff earlier, everything's sticking. Uh, we're going to cover all of this, staying away from the cuticles again, okay? And then we're going to just put that right in the clear, tap it off. I usually, like I said, do it two or three times to make sure it absorbs. Be careful you don't get too much liquid because if you get too much liquid and you go pushing it in there, you're gonna get ridges from that as well. So, and see then, then once you encapsulate and clear, you're able to go back and file if you need to over top of those to get everything to look even. We're gonna do one more layer of base. Perfect. And then we're gonna encapsulate and clear again. And ours is very clear. You won't notice it on top of your shapes. Don't lose your powder. <laughs> okay. And then brush that off. Then you activate again. Uh, clean up around your cuticles first before you activate. Don't know what I did with my orange stick. Oh, sorry. Mm. Knocked it right in the floor. If your floor is dirty or you're working on somebody else's nails, don't pick it up off the floor and use it. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then you saw a little powder brush up there, so what, what you can do is um, 
scrub it off a little bit with a scrub brush or a toothbrush that you're using for nails. Okay, now we're gonna activate. So one layer quick, one layer slow and deliberate. Two minutes again, guys, and wipe that off in between if you're worried about contamination, but that is just clear, so it won't be a big deal. Um, if you see any other butterflies you drop that don't have base on them, you can pick them up at this point. Well, that one's all right now. Okay, save our little butterflies for later. After our two minutes is up here, you can wipe with a um, lint-free wipe. Getting that ready while we're waiting. Okay. Once the two minutes is up, then you'll wipe down with the lint-free wipe. You will do any shaping that you need to at this point. So sorry, bending my fingers. Don't do that to your friends. And then, there you go. If you're having to do a lot of shaping, like on top and stuff, you're gonna need to reactivate. I'm not doing that in the video because it takes longer. But um, once you do that, you can clean up the lint-free wipe if you want. You don't have to do that alcohol step. And then you're going to go ahead and top coat, and you're all done. And then you have a beautiful Manny with a cute little butterfly shapes that are placed where you want them. Okay. Anyways, there you go. And you see how clear it is? You can see all your little butterflies. They kind of look like they're in um, like a countertop, like a epoxy thing. So anyways, looks very cool, beautiful, and have a great day. This is Bridget with Positively Zebra, The Daily Stripe.